Monday, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. Um, uh, I'm recording this in the morning. I don't know how long it'll take to upload it, but um, anyway, today's exercise of the week is the Z press. Um, now, this is an overhead press variation, uh, and uh, let me show it to you, and then I'll explain why it's different than just a regular um, standing or seated overhead press is here with me to help demonstrate today. So what you're going to do for the Z-Press is you're actually going to sit down and either have your legs right out in front of you or you can have them in more of a V formation. Um, and then with a nice neutral back, um, sitting up straight, legs out in front of you, you're going to take your weights and press straight up into an overhead press. And I'll show you that. It's easier, you're being very... Um, show you that from the side here. Now what you don't want to do is like hunch over. You don't want to, um, you know, let your, your uh, tailbone kind of tuck too far underneath. You want that nice upright position and that actually in and of itself is rather difficult and then you add a overhead press to that um, and it's you know it's not easy and as soon as you get into the position you'll realize oh yeah this is way different than your typical standing or seated overhead press just because of the position you're in it puts a lot more emphasis on the core on core stability and also um, range of motion in hamstrings uh, and hips because you won't be able to get into that seated position if your hamstrings are too tight um, and if your hamstrings are too tight it's okay to do it with a little bit of a bend in the knee to start and I would definitely start with um, you can do this exercise with dumbbells you can do it with the barbell you can do it with kettlebells I would definitely recommend if you haven't done it before starting with um, dumbbells because it's going to put less stress on the shoulders um, and you can start with much lower weight than doing it with um, than doing it with the, with the barbell. <laughs> and the cat's gonna knock the camera over, so I'm gonna grab him. But anyway, um, but yeah, if you have you know gotten really good, if you've mastered the overhead press, the standing and or seated overhead press, and you want something just a little bit more difficult. Um, something to, you know, a little bit different, a little bit challenging, um, add the Z-Press in there and see what you think of it. Um, I enjoy it. Like I said, I don't do it very often, um, but it's a really good one to throw in there every once in a while and to work on even just that seated position, uh, you know, is going to be difficult for some people. So, um, give it a shot. And again, like I said, if you're starting out, uh, if you're just if you're new to it, definitely start with dumbbells. Definitely start with really light weight. Um, I mean, because I can do an overhead press with a lot more than eight pounds, but um, that seated position is really difficult because it's not something that I do a lot. So I definitely am going to do it with a lot lighter weight than. Uh, than not, than, than going heavier. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button, share it, subscribe. If you're watching on Rumble, hit the Rumble button, share it, follow me. Um, if you, uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Not as much going on over there. A little bit different stuff. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be back definitely on Wednesday uh, with something different. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, enjoy month season. It's here in, in Vermont. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.